Hey everybody, welcome back to a new episode of Game Face. My name's Max. And I'm Lindsay. And we're playing Super Mario Maker. Yay! So this is something I've wanted to do like since we put the game out, was uh, play some fan levels, and I've not done it yet because I suck. Also, we've got some Q&A questions to answer from the audience from our recent 3,000 subscriber video. So, cool, two birds with one stone. Lindsay, hit a, you're playing. I'm, I'm reading questions. I'm gonna play this one by Alex. So Alex has a classic inspired castle. I like classic. Lindsay, you play that. I'm gonna play. Do it. Yay. Ooh, I oh, it actually shows the code now, which I really like. Yeah. That way I don't have to put it in the episode. All right. Very nice Classic touch. inspired. It's a so mushroom. That's pretty classic. Classic, classic mushroom. Classic mushrooms, yeah. I'm down for classic mushrooms. Totally, oh. totally. Okay, classic turtles. Yep, they're pretty classic. So, Lindsay, I'm going to read you a question here from old as fuck white guy. Uh-huh. Here comes the question. Uh-huh. He's only been here for a while, but he's been really enjoying every second of it. I'm glad to be a part of the channel growth. Here is my question. What <gasps> game... What? What game that you have not played on the channel would you really like to do a Let's Play of? Oh, shit! Shit! <laughs> nice one. You're nice welcome. One. Okay. Uh, that was stupid, and I... Okay. Not the question. Me. Um, I don't know. You go first. <laughs> What game that you have oh. not played on the channel would you really like to do a Let's Play of? I'd there's like, a, there's like a, a full Let's Play or just play? I'm going to say a full Let's Play because, oh. yeah, there's a ton of them for me. Uh, a couple that stick out are Star Fox Adventures. Oh, definitely. Me uh, too. No More Heroes. Me too. <laughs> Banjo-Tooie. Me too. <laughs> Uh, These are all going to be. <laughs> yeah, I have a huge list somewhere just of all the games I want to eventually Shit! go back and play. But uh, those are three off the top of my head. There's definitely more. This is going to take me a long time. <laughs> Lindsay, are you bad at Mario? I'm getting... I'm not... We'll probably switch something. places later. I'll have you read and I, I play, but... I agree with all the ones you said. I'd really actually like to play Catherine on the channel. Oh, me too. Yeah. I love me some Catherine. Yeah, yeah, Catherine would be awesome. Not sure if that would be a better stream or a better Let's Play, but I definitely want to do it. That's one thing is that... Uh, oh, no. There's a lot of like RPGs Shit. I'd like to do, oh. but... <laughs> RPGs are so long that it's like a big commitment. It's true. I feel like they work better as streams, but I don't have enough time to stream, so it's like. <sighs> I'm really eventually sorry. I'd like it to happen. Well, Lindsay, we can switch places eventually once when, when you. Are... I just need to get used to it, okay? That's cool. I'm not. That's cool. I'm not especially good or bad at Mario. <laughs> <laughs> You're just very neutral. I'm pretty neutral, yeah. I'm That's just better. Fine. I am better at Dark Souls than I am at Mario, probably. Yeah, some both platformers. Too. Dark Souls also would be fun to do but oh, yeah. it would take a long time in bloodborne you it's know another one i think would work better as a stream mm. is there anything else i can think of oh i made it oh halfway points i forgot about those duncan rompa would be cool but duncan you, rompa. we both already know the story yeah so, it's so like, we won't how be cool would that be to watch astonished that any i think that'd be a better stream than a let's play i also think that it's pretty don't classic stream very much because there's not much time Oh, yeah, classic. I'm like, oh, Max, let's stream. You're like, but we've got to record. But we've got stuff we need to record. Or I have to work in the morning. Or something to that effect of an excuse. You see what I did there? I killed that squid. You did a good job killing Pretty that Pretty awesome. Squid. I imagine there's more games I'd want to play, but I can't think of them right now. Fuck! Yes, like I said, I have a huge list somewhere. Don't touch and me. I just don't keep touch adding me. to don't it. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Oh, another one that we will be doing very shortly is... Uh, Twilight Princess HD. Oh, yes. Because we've been wanting to do Twilight Princess. I do enjoy that game a lot. There's a bunch of games I want to play. A Link Between Worlds is another one. Lots of lots of Zelda <sighs> games. Squandered. Squandered it, Max. I'm sorry. Squandered! I'm squandering everything! Why am I such a loser? I should be on Four Losers Gaming! I'm such a fucking <laughs> loser. <gasps> oh! Looks like you haven't won uh, yet. I think I had too much sugar today. <laughs> it happens. Sugar's good for you. I'm I heard all... from somebody. Uh. All right, Liam, I'm if gonna... I think of anything else, I'll let you know. I'll ask. Go on to the next question from oh, Stephen Ophit. Oh. So oh. here's your question, Lindsay. Uh huh. To me as well. Uh -huh. What has been your favorite playthrough that you've done on the channel, and why? No. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 oh dear. Um, I really liked. Uh... <laughs> um, what is it called? Mario Brothers 2. Yeah, Mario Brothers 2 I, is I one of my favorite older ones for sure. That was that was a good one. I really enjoyed There's something that one. about it. I don't know what it is exactly that made that one really click, but it was just like one of those ones that I thought was funny from beginning to end. Yeah, it was. It it's was definitely fun. a little older, but it's a goodie. It was. What else? Um, um, I really enjoyed our Majora's Mask actually. Yes, that was a fun one. I agree. That was that was a lot of fun. 
Because I it was my first time actually playing yeah. it to completion. So. And I had, a, I had a ton of fun with Undertale, just because. It oh was, yeah, Undertale, just because we didn't know what was gonna happen most of the time. And... That was one of our first legit blind LPs that I just went into knowing pretty much nothing about and just fell in love with. So, that was a, definitely a special one. The thing is, I really like pretty much all of the ones we've done, so it's hard to pick favorites. Like Donkey Kong Country 2 was also fun. Yes, it was. Donkey Kong Country 2 was a lot of fun. And uh, Dokapon is. Oh my god, Dokapon is a fucking roller coaster. <laughs> I always enjoy the races we do as well, where it's like race to the end of the game, like Mega Man and yeah. all that jazz. So yeah, there's some fun ones. And, and Steven also asks what games we plan to do in 2016. Damn it. Uh, basically the ones we said. <laughs> there's also some other ones. Uh, there's lots I want to cover, yeah! but not completely, like Fire Emblem and mm -hmm. I don't know. There's a lot Dark of games Souls I want to play. Dark Souls 3 I'd like to possibly. Paper Mario is another one I should have mentioned, but I really want to cover a Paper Mario game. I don't know which one, any mm -hmm. of them, honestly. And eventually, Super Mario RPG is the first game I ever did on the channel. Don't watch it. I eventually want to do it again. Yeah, you did the level. Should I start? Yeah, start and comment, baby. Start. While you do that, I will look at the next question. I'm going to comment. None of my comments are going to be any good. Cool. Lindsay, submit your damn comment. I am. Pretty classy. <laughs> nice. I was going to be pretty classy, but I turned to get classy. Exit. <laughs> Next level. Um, should we go? Should we go by person and then and then just keep going? Like go to the next person, but then come back to these and. So like that everybody gets one. I think yeah. I see what you're saying, and I. So I like, like keep that. going down till the so next we'll, person. Like, we'll save the Al the rest of the Alex ones for later. Yeah. Cool. I'm like, down. Just so this go down and Matthew. then go back up. Okay. So we're gonna play Winged, Winged Fun. Fun. If this has anything to do with flying, I'm gonna be in trouble. There's uh lots of wings. It looks like. Okay. Play. All right. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Okay. I see wings. I see fun. Bloopers don't have wings. Actually, bloopers look very interesting in the Mario world. They <laughs> Get oh, oh, no! You're going to need to do a spin jump to do that. Spin jump? Okay. Oh, boy. I know my way around a Mario. Where's the spin jump? It's uh, the shoulder button, isn't it? <gasps> yeah. I see. So I gotta... Spin! That's not a spin jump, I think! Oh! You failed! <laughs> so I have to press the button instead of the jump button? <laughs> yes! Okay. You don't know I how to Mario. This. I'm not as familiar with this Mario, Max. I think you should be reading the questions, and I should I be. I did it! Would you like to switch places? I did it! No, you didn't. I'm gonna do it. You wait. All right. That's how you I do think I can jump. land on the bloopers. No, you can't! Yes, you can. Watch. They're bloopers! They don't let you land on them. Watch. Watch you die? See? Oh, wow, you actually can. I just ran into them. Huh. Okay, so I don't need to do the spin jump. Why would you be able to jump on a blooper? I That's odd. I am terrible. Da, 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 da. I see what it wants you to do, and you're not doing it. <laughs> Run and I Are you doing it? Yeah! You did it! <laughs> bouncy, bouncy, bouncy! Woo! <laughs> okay, let's switch. Yeah. All right, I'm in control now, and Lindsay's going to read questions. Yes. So let's see how that goes. Okay. I died. <laughs> so the next question is from Skittles the Destroyer. Skittles! And they say, my question is, do you have any embarrassing stories from your childhood that oh, you terrible. can tell us? Embarrassing <laughs> stories, huh? Whenever somebody asks a question like this, I always draw a blank. And then as soon as I remember one, I'll remember like 15, but mm. I'm drawing a blank. Um, I remember one. What? Sort of embarrassing. Yay. Uh, I was a little kid and I was in the... Uh, That's embarrassing. I was in a hardware store. <laughs> And there was this this lady, and she had a very large behind. <laughs> and I went up to her, and I poked her butt, and I went, pop. I think I was trying to <laughs> pop her butt. <laughs> Good one, Lindsay. Did you get in trouble? I don't remember. <laughs> my mom's just like, Lindsay. <laughs> she just I remember doing a similar like, thing like that in a grocery store where there's just some dude, and I was like, Mom, why does that guy's face look like that? <gasps> and then I got in trouble. <laughs> <Max>. <laughs> I didn't know What's any better. I was face? crap. I don't know. I think he was just older and I didn't oh. understand. <laughs> now, why do people get older? I do remember one time in high school, I fainted. Fuck. This is hard. I, I fainted during a math presentation because of my crippling anxiety problems. <laughs> that just was public fun. speaking sucks in general. It's public speaking by myself. When I have to look like I know what I'm talking about. Yeah, like, and you're like, I don't give a fuck about what I'm talking about. Those are all my hot buttons about. at once. 
I guess it's even it's better if you know what you're talking about. Exactly, too. and if it's and something I'm passionate about. But uh, if there's somebody else there to like share the little, oh, can't he spin on those? No, apparently. Damn it. They're too snappy. Damn. Uh, what the hell? I'm sure That's there's lots of other embarrassing stories. Childhood. I'm sure I did lots of embarrassing things. I suck. I probably did. I'm just an embarrassment. This right now is pretty embarrassing. What I'm doing here. Hmm. What the shit? <laughs> there. Okay, springy things. It's like a friggin' Ross. So you pretty much gotta go at a certain pace, otherwise you're gonna lose your foothold. Yeah. You can just jump over those. Yeah, you could. I thought you could spin jump those. I guess I was wrong. Whoa there, dude. Babe, oh my god, he's flipping out. I don't like it. I don't like it. Here we go. Oh my. <laughs> I'm doing it. Oh, gosh. God damn. Come on. There's Oh, I don't like that. There's that one story about how you broke your foot and that was kind of stupid. Oh yeah, that was dumb. So there's a monument that is Oh, come on. I'm counting that. Or should I? I don't know. Maybe I should try again. I don't know. If you want to, it doesn't matter. I'll try it again, I guess. Okay. So there is like a pretty large monument in a... In our town. In, a, in our town mm -hmm. that I used to like to jump it's off It's like a big a stone thing. It's just like a thing. Whenever I was there, I'd jump off it because that's fun. And one time I was there, at like there was a party and we all went down there. And I was like, I'm going to jump off this. And it was nighttime. And when I landed, I rolled my ankle and shattered it. That was fun. And then you didn't go to the hospital See, for like, what, a few days? I wouldn't call that embarrassing, though. That was just stupid. <laughs> Embarrassingly stupid. It just hurt a lot and crippled me for life. I hate this level. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. I didn't get embarrassed easy, easily as a child, I don't think. As a child. A small child. Yeah, it's when more I like was older. the awkward teen years and stuff yeah. that are the really embarrassing Because, yeah, I had the same anxiety that you did about speaking in front of class. Yeah. But I didn't Crap. faint. There was one time I took a lesser mark because I didn't want to do it. Oh, yeah. Screw They're just speaking. like, well, you'll get an... I think you got like an 80 or... A, yeah, you got an 80. You lost 20 points. And I was like, I'll take it. <laughs> I just remember hating that feeling. I was good at school, so it didn't really... I was just like, whatever, fuck it. I always hated that feeling of like a presentation day. Yeah. When everybody takes turns for the whole class presentating. And you're just that feeling in your stomach of when you're going to be called upon. Yep. You're just like, ah, oh, I just want to get it over with, but I don't. I yep. I'm really bad at this level. It was dumb. Yeah. Didn't like it. I'm gonna give this one more try, and then we're gonna go to the next one. All right. Should I ask another question? Go for it. Yeah, I'm having. If I think of any embarrassing stories, I'll say, but I don't. I can't think of too much. Oh. Okay. So. You. Woot. You what, mate? You what, mate? You what, mate? Is that what it is? I believe so. Oh. Also, here's my question. What are your favorite childhood games? Uh, mine, Banjo Kazooie. Um, Fuck! Oh, Banjo Kazooie. Even though I didn't own it, I went to friends' houses and played Donkey Kong Country one and two, yeah. and a little bit of three. So they're memorable to me. Uh, the Pokemon games, like up until, like gold, mostly gold and silver and uh, yellow, blue and red. The oldish one. Yeah. I have a lot of memories um, with those. Mario Sunshine, I remember liking a lot. <laughs> Good old sunshine. Good old sunshine. New course. And, of course, like Mario 1 and 3. I didn't play much of 2 as a kid. Yeah. I'm, I'm Bubsy the Bobcat. <laughs> Bubsy the Bobcat. Bubsy the Bobcat, yeah. I'm moving on to Spooky Sec Specters by Sibaz. And Smash Brothers, Smash Brothers. Oh, good old Smash Brothers. I have a Brothers. lot. Yeah, there's a ton of games I associate with my childhood. Harvest Moon 64. If I was going to make a list, it would be humongous. Yeah, I agree. But uh, what is going on here? I, I would say, it. even though it was later, it was like more so in my high school years. Uh, high school. Tales of Symphonia, because it was my first JRPG, JRPG besides if you want to count Pokemon. Uh -oh. I don't like this. Um, yeah, I remember when I showed you that game. I know. You were like, when does the... Because I'm so used to playing, you know, quicker You're, games, like, When does I guess? the game start? And I was like, you don't know what an RPG is, do you? I was like, man, there's a lot of talking. Like, this sure is the giant taking a while. Carlon tree? <laughs> oh, yeah, the giant Carlon tree. The Carlon what do I do? tree. What do I do? Oh, God. What are you doing? You're panicking. I did panic. Oh, my. Oh, Paper Mario. Yay, Paper, Paper Mario. Paper Mario. <laughs> I have so many freaking games that I could name. Uh, and just, like, specific ones I used to rent, like, 
that I didn't play all that much, but I remember them very fondly. Yeah. Like um, Space Station Silicon Valley. Oh, God. I just remember renting it a few times and enjoying it. It's Worms Armageddon. Swarms Armageddon? Swarms! I sold Worms Armageddon. That was kind of sad. But it was worth a lot of money. It was. I forget how much I got for it. It was at least 300. 300 and something. Pretty cool. It's pretty good. Canadian, but still. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. I'm gonna try to name some of mine now. Yeah, sorry, I got. I, I have. That's a lot. okay. There's a lot of we're we've grew up on video games. So childhood, video games is a pretty large subject for us. Mm-hmm. First one for me is oh, Mario Three because that's and the Pokemon first. Pokemon Stadium and Pokemon Snap. My turn. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Mario Three was like the first game I ever played, so I hold that in pretty high regard. And then like uh, games I rented a lot were Kirby Superstar, shit, Mario PG. Uh, what else did I rent? I, I remember playing a lot of Yoshi's Island at like Ryan's house. I think he rented it too though. I think those were my big Super Nintendo games. And then like 64 was uh, Harvest Moon 64, Mario 64, Conquer, Diddy Kong Racing, Banjo, Perfect Dark we played a lot of, Worms like you said. Crap! Lots and lots and lots and lots of Smash Brothers of yeah. any kind. Just ridiculous. I remember playing Bomberman 64 a lot, too. That was fun. That is a fun game. I like that one. We played that on the channel. And then I'm not I even going to go in further than that, because uh, that's, that's a handful. We grew up very si doing very similar things. Yeah. But the thing is, you had friends that had similar likes, and I did not. <laughs> so I did all the stuff you did. But mostly alone. You should have not stopped hanging out with me after grade six when you I decided know. I was scary. We I dated know. in grade six. We dated. We probably said of. this before. Probably, but I mean, not everybody. There's lots of people who are new here. Yeah. I mean, we're growing pretty quickly, so. It's true. I did it. I beat <gasps> level. Almost. You gotta touch it. Woo! <laughs> yep. Yay. Yep. Like you used to play like house or dolls with Smash Brothers. Oh yeah. With your Just friends. Like, like, I play by like myself. Machinima, I guess, is what you'd call it nowadays. Where is that what it is? Yeah, I think when you just like take video games and like talk over them and make a story. That's mm -hmm. kind of what that's like. I'm gonna comment and like this one. Oh. I forgot to comment like the other one. I'm sorry. Oh, I can't wait to see what you comment. Spooky specters. It's the best comment everyone's ever made in history. I can't wait. Spook me once, I like it. <laughs> spook me once. <laughs> Instead of spook me once, shame. I don't know. I'm sorry. It wasn't very good. Anyway, that was our first episode of Super Mario Maker Fan Levels and my Game Face Q&A with Lynn and Max. Hope you liked it. Uh, feel free to leave a comment, like all that jazz, and we'll be back with another one soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.